Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Psychedelic Kitten, and we're back out with Paradise, Lo Paradise Lost. I don't know what just happened there, but we had to pull the lever and pull down that thingy, and we're gonna go see what's happening. Um, we did have a little bit of an issue <laughs> trying to figure out what to do because I did not see that because apparently I'm blind now. And she did something with this, but... I gotta figure out where she wants me to go. Am I supposed to press that button again? Which, I mean, we're gonna check real quick before I move on. So want me to press it again? Yeah, all right. What are you planning to do with that rocket? Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh, she was breaking the wall. How did you know it wouldn't blow up? I didn't. So you risked my life? Hey, I got you out of there, didn't I? Anyway, I don't see any cameras in there. So I'll meet you on the other side. Seriously? You was about to kill this lady. Freaking crazy ass bitch. <laughs> I mean, but hey, at least we got through, right? Damn. The rocket's so old. I mean, it could have blown up on us. The hell is wrong with you, lady? Their voices are so low. I'm guessing I go this way. Anything over here I need to see? No. Okay. Oh, Lord. There. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try again. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. It must be... How do I... No. <laughs> Uh, how do I get the one at the top? There we go. That's the one I needed. Let's try again. Thank you. Okay. Let's go this way. Um, no. That, that looks like a bad idea. So let's go straight. Oh boy. Oh, I just saw my shadow. That was spooky. And down we go. It doesn't even look like there's a floor. Okay, apparently there is. Alright. It just kind of looked like a giant circle because you can't just see all that right there. But never mind, there's a floor. What do you want for me? Uh, I can't click it. There we go. Boop! Ooh, eagle. Okay. What's here? Oh, we go through here? Okay. kind of creepy in here. We must be very quiet, all right? Listen to the pluttering of the tree. <laughs> really? When you think about it, we are very lucky it is so cold. Rails don't like hot weather. When steel heats up, it increases in volume. It bulges and strains until finally it can pop free of its restraints. The train might even derail. But we are in no danger of that because it's winter. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, is there anything else on it? We must be very no, it's the same thing. Alright. 
Is that all we came in here for? Seriously? Okay. I'm <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, let's go this way. I didn't even know that was there. Hello, Mr. Eagle. How are you? Okay, guess I'm gonna go up this way. This would be very creepy for a 12 year old. This kid got his balls. Alright. Whoops. This way? Did I just come from there? Yeah. Alright, there's a ladder. After this, this kid is going to be very tired because this is like a workout. Holy crap, it's making me exhausted just watching him. Oy. I kind of wonder how he is going to get out of here. We've been through so many circles, it's not even funny. So this kid gets to be very, very lost. Okay. Oh, there's stairs. <laughs> oh, here's another one. The lieutenant's dead. Well, that's sad. Also dead. There's only a handful of us left alive, while plenty of Germans are still scattered all over the place. We get them. I know we will. I just know that there's a more efficient way of doing it. Efficient? You're starting to sound like that. I sound like a scientist who doesn't want unnecessary bloodshed. So, what are you suggesting as a scientist? I'm suggesting we turn on that computer and use it against them like we did before. No! Out of the question. She sounds like the, it can scan the area girl who's and been stalking me. For us. I <clears throat> She does kind of sound like the lady that I've been talking to. Nazis. Yeah, I bet that one thing that I read was I, was the Hitler I'm thinking of. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. Can we get can we get up? Are we extra special? What's happening here? Okay, there we go. We were a little stuck, but it's all good. Okay. We made it to some type of library or something. Okay. Is that not like a set player? It's a good question, kid. I'm starting to wonder myself. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. No. I can't do it. Fuck. No one ever shot at me before. Few houses of lead. A few thousand feet per second. I won't even notice. I won't even notice. Wow. A man shoots. The Lord carries the bullet. Let it be. Well, that was interesting. A man shoots, but the Lord carries the bullets. Okay. That's a new one. Uh <laughs> Room, isn't it? I sure hope so. I hopefully she doesn't murderize me. Here waiting for you. I'm in the room you told me to go to. What? 
impossible. You must be in a different room then. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. I didn't mean to send you on a wild goose chase. That's okay. We all make mistakes. You are kind. I really thought it was here. <sighs> It really means a lot that you trusted me. I'm sorry I disappointed you. The truth is, I don't know what's happening to me. I've been locked in here for I don't know how long, and I'm getting really scared. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you are my only hope. Hope isn't going to help me find a way. You are right. What are you doing? Just give me a second. Yes, I got it. It says here, you're in a control room, right? So you're probably talking through an EVE console. I guess. That machine has control over the entire area. We should be able to get access to the maps, doors, shafts, everything. But the screen says it's a memory too. Huh, I wonder what that's for. See if you can find one lying around. I'm looking it up right now. It says here that the memory tubes have something to do with the oversight system for the whole bunker. They recorded events back when the system was still working. Okay, so, um... I need to find a tube. Gotcha. Okay, well... <laughs> anything lying around... That's a bright light. This room is confusing because there's so much crap. And I don't do well when there's a bunch of clutter in one area. I have noticed this. Okay, so do I apparently look through these things. Let's try this one. Well, that was disappointing. Let's try this one. Also, pretty disappointing. Let's try this one. I didn't mean to catch that one, though. But that's a weird thing to keep in a filing box. Let's try again. Alright. Is that it? That's the one I tried to get, but I got the <laughs> third one instead. So I'm guessing that's it. Okay, let's try again. Alright, stick in the hole. Boom. Woo. <laughs> uh, restarting, restoring last failure point, recording of the last minutes. Perform security scan, unauthorized personal detected. Authorized firearms, threat level critical, manic goes fast. Threat level critical, policy set to military, infiltrated, disarmament crucial, civilian evacuation recommended, possible evacuation routes, unauthorized firearm discharge detected, locating source, switch to host one display, scanning. Check on vital signs, unauthorized firearm, play audio channel 186. Okay. Wow. Manual override. Library search complete. Wow. How do we have 
<laughs> scanning records of Polish scientists collaborating with the Polish underground state. Intruder buildup detected. Location forge. Fortification detected. Dang. Wow, this is a really long part. Fallout offensive deploy all troops to forge. All offensive deploy all troops to forge. Casualty rate 81%. Success rate 98%. Order B diversion. Close ventilation. Overheat furnace. Casualty rate. Success rate warning. Damage to the furnace may cause severe disruption. I don't know which one I picked. Was I supposed to pick? <gasps> What's going on? Pretty that yeah. was. It's like the bunker was trying to defend itself. By any means necessary. I guess that's all we already is in the end. People killing each other in desperation. Did it end? Did what end? The war. Did the war end? I think so. I don't really know. Yeah, no one tells me anything either. So. What was it like where you came from? Uh, I guess it was peaceful. It was really peaceful. That's good to hear. I hope it stays that way. So, what do you do now? Now, I have access to the control system in this area, and I can let you out of this room. That would be nice. Study the map and try to find the central control room. Go straight to the forge. There should be a passage down there. That was really weird. And where exactly was the forge again? Okay, so there was <laughs> Oliver. I missed. I feel stupid. I didn't even know this was here. Like, I just seen the light, I guess, and I assumed it was not Oliver. I should have known better. But, anyways, we're going down. <laughs> wow. This is why I try to thoroughly look through stuff, because I overlook things all the time that's ridiculous. Oh my god, what the hell is happening there? Um, is this place about to set on fire? Because so that don't look good. The supposed to go. That don't look good at all. Okay. Kinda curious how you're gonna get out of here. Uh, let's get this. It's a dead end. What? There's no way to keep going. According to my map, there should be a pipe there. It leads directly to the living area. Can't you see it? So? You expect me to jump? Listen, I wouldn't have let you here if I didn't think you could do it. Seriously? 
Should be? Is it leaving your eyes short? It's been so long since anything we know was working. It's anyone's guess if it's still there. But I'm willing to bet that it is. Try to remember the world outside. Remember how you described it? Peaceful. This place? This is just temporary. You can do it. What will happen if I don't what jump? What will happen if I don't jump? Have you ever felt helpless? Like you have no control over the things going on around you? All the time. Like Thank you, you for noticing. Just accept whatever happens next, no matter how painful it is. Things don't have to be like that this time. You're in control now. So, to answer your question, if you don't jump, there's a chance you'll end up asking yourself what if. And that's an awful feeling. Jeez, lady. Sound like a fortune cookie. I will jump. I don't want to jump. Everything's going to be alright. Trust me. I don't believe you, lady. <laughs> you me, right? Led me to the wrong control room. <sighs> okay. Ever everybody ready to see a twelve year old die? I know, breathe. Breathe, lad. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Bargaining. I just bargained my life. Are we alive? Are we alive? Please tell me we're alive. Please tell me I didn't just go on a suicide mission. Ah! Okay. We're good. We can swim, right? We can swim. We can swim. Let's do it. You're one brave 12 year old boy. Whew. One brave child, man. Holy crap. Whew, it's right. <laughs> okay. This game gives me so much anxiety. Ooh. It looks like we're in a sewer. <laughs> Alright. When I find you, lady, can I smack you? Nope. Almost there, though. I'm three. Okay. Whew. I can't believe she bargained my life twice. Wait a minute. Are we out? Oh my god, are we out? Holy shit! We're out! <laughs> Hi. Could you just, like, run this one time, please? Now where are we going? Ooh, kind of calming here. Hey. What's this? Uh, I missed it. There we go. guy. Okay. I keep pressing shift like he's gonna run, but he is not. He's the slowest child on the planet. Okay, let's see. Anything over here? No. Okay. There's nothing over here. Wait a minute. Can we get through that window? Yes. We can. Alright. Let's do it. Squeeze. Is anyone here? 
Please don't ask them that. I don't like the sound of the wind. Oh god, another horrible recording. It always amazes me how short your memories are. I walk these corridors day after day and hear the growing whispers. What if he's right? Maybe he has a point. What if, what if? Let me remind those who have forgotten. When the Battle of the Bunker ended, we went looking for German civilian survivors. None were found alive. Must I remind you why? Because the Bunker's machinery had removed them from the battlefield so they wouldn't interfere with the counter-attack. Only to suffocate them in one of the unventilated hangars. Is this the kind of effectiveness we're looking for? Is that the value we put on human life? Yes. I will say it once more. No! I will never allow these machines to be turned on again. Dang. Okay. Thing over here. No. Alright. These cassettes are kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Okay, second room. Wait, is there anything over here? Hey. Alright. Let's open this. Oh boy. Anybody home? this all Nazi documents are to be left untouched despicable as they are we will not burn them the Nazis already burn all evidence of their atrocities on their own we do not need to aid them when the war finally ends and it will end these documents will be used to expose them and hold them to account all the documents are to be stored in the file room okay Big ass room. If like this place under went under such bad like I don't know. Like if this horrible horrible thing happened here, why is there still electricity exactly? Sound like you say you need to find a contour room. Uh, I mean, we can try makeup, but I don't think it'll be very helpful. What's this? It's locked. Of course it is, because you know nothing's ever easy for us. So, yeah. I think we came from there. So we're gonna have to go upstairs. There's really nothing else down here. So. Let's go up. That's a creepy picture. What the hell is she doing? cat scared me. Uh, please don't leave. I knew that others were considering leaving. I just never realized you were one of the one of them. If you go, Dominica won't let us see each other ever again. Uh, you know that she doesn't allow any of his followers to interact with us. Is his <laughs> superstitious g gibberish were important to you th than we that 
writing was so faint I barely could actually read that. It's a creepy teddy bear. Alright. So that's a door. Anything over there? I don't see anything else. That, okay. Can we get in? Seriously? Well, you suck. Over here now. Okay. Well, there's more over here. That's locked. That's creepy. Could we try and not to hurt ourselves? Okay. What about in here? Can we open it? Haha! -ha. Ooh, cobwebs. It's kind of creepy in here. Okay. I hate that wind. Stop it. Okay. There's nothing in here. That sucks. Alright. Let's go through here. What about this door? Is it open? Yeah. This person was a mu musician or something. There's a lot of doors here. About this one. Okay. This person was a painter or something. Very artsy person. Okay, well, nothing here neither. Let's try this door. Okay, the doors stay open. I was like, are they shutting? Am I going into the same ones? Okay, what's this? A lot better. <laughs> um, a lot better to where I can read it than the last one. Transcription of Razard's Lazy's account. <laughs> I went out mushroom picking. Not that I thought I'd find any mind, but because I like wandering among among the trees, so I stumbled upon a gnarled beach. I looked up, and over by a clump of thistle, I saw a white she-goat. A miracle, I thought, because there hasn't been a living creature to be found since we ate that last hen ten years back. And, lo and behold, a goat! Where could it have come from? Right away, I thought. Velas must have favored us to send a blessing like that. I walked up to it. It didn't run. It let me rope it and walked back to the settlement by my side like a dog on a leash. I went straight to the high priest to share the wonderful news. I hope it would give us milk with healing pro properties. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Nothing in here neither. Here's another door. Whoa. Okay, I didn't expect that. What's this? Oh, there's a light. Again, door. I can barely read it. Dear her commandant, at the request of Wilhelm Struck, I have agreed to lead a talk about Argentina. Symbols, Ariums, as whatever, through the control of parapsychic human abilities and research on the summoning of zombie armies. He convinced me this material will provide the necessary support for the colonists in my youth. I looked, or I took a strong interest in these topics so I shall have plenty of material to speak on. Yet we both know, I hope, that these 
stories are not worth a hill of beans. I am a scientist and I know what the strength of the German nation does not come from fairy tales, but from mental fortitude and from science. Thus, when the colonists prepare for the ultimate battle, they should draw on the accomplishments of scholars. I promise, or no, I propose a return to a method that was tested with great success at the front, <laughs> namely substance IDIX, a mix of cocaine, pervitin, a strong stimulant, and eucodol, a strong painkiller, transferred commitment, er, common into super soldiers. It provides a significant boost to concentration, endurance, strength, courage, and self-confidence. It also disables pain receptors while stifling hunger, thirst, and the need for sleep. It has side effects, yet in the deciding moment, they are of no importance. Or import. Okay. That that was weird. <laughs> Something else. Uh, dear Will, I know you do not need anyone to tell you how to do your job, but I would like to alert you to a problem. I have received reports that despite constant guidance and instruction, many people, many people still do not understand the concept of the colony. Some fear being locked up underground or even that those left on the surface will have it better. If I were to prune away all such doubters, I would lose half the settlers, the would-be strength of the colony. So I hit upon an idea. Perhaps we could, in some undemanding way, share with our colonists the history of the Aryans and the Atlanteans from whom we descend. After all, if our ancestors could thrive after losing their homeland, we too can emerge from our ordeal, defeat our enemies, and bring about the rebirth of our great Germany. With your storytelling talent, this tale would surely soften the herd of doubters and calm, frayed nerves. What do you think, your friend Max? Okay. Uh, that was weird. Okay. And here's the last door, but let's see if anything is over here, which there isn't. So, I want to end the video here. Uh, and we'll go more in the story in the next episode. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.